Blog Talk Radio. How are you doing? This is Jimmy Pax, and you're listening to the incomparable Lena Jones on the Lena Jones Morning Sparkle. <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> no, we are not in the morning sparkle. Hi, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the Lena Jones Diamond Network Show. Okay. It's a little bit crazy around here today. It's been like that all weekend, all week. Here I am going into Monday thinking it's going to be better right now. It's not any better. It's the same way. I'm pretty sure you're all experiencing your own type of crazy going on. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, we got a good show for you. We got some business advice for all you entrepreneurs and independent contractors and self-employed people out there. We got some advice for you coming from I am Terrell Jones. There's no relative there. Just the same last name. Just happened to be a coincidence. He will be on the show. Well, I don't know because, see, my papa was a rolling stone. So, <laughs> I don't know. He could be somewhere in the distance. I know they said we had a whole bunch of relatives out here in Virginia. and uh, But he's from New York. He's not, he's not even from Virginia. He's, he's from New York. But um, anyway, <laughs> no relative at all. Just a, um, a young man is moving and shaking and doing things. And he will be here later on to join us uh, in the show. Right now, you just have me to deal with. I'm up here, and I'm going to entertain you for the next 30 minutes or so, unless he decides to call in early, but for now, you got me, okay? And I am Murphy's Law. This is the Murphy's Law Show in the Murphy's Law Studio. If you don't know what Murphy's Law means, it means that anything that can happen will happen. That's my show. So I'm sitting here now messing around with my background music, trying to make sure that it is set just right. Hey, you know, did you watch the Golden Globe Awards or the Oscars last night? One or the two? You could have watched it. You know what? <laughs> Someone had put on Facebook that they would rather watch uh, paint drawing. It was kind of boring. But I don't watch it. I don't watch it any year because it is kind of boring. It's boring to me. Um, why is it so boring? Because it, it's just... I don't really like the entertainment. I don't really like the music. It seems that the Oscars are just for that Hollywood Oscars. It's just for people that, uh, it's just for the people in the movie. It's made for them. It's set up for them. (laughs) It's not for normal people like you and I. I mean, we got bigger problems like uh, this weather that's been taking everyone's electricity out. You know, I had a big problem because that wind took my fence down, and I got to figure out how to put up a dog on fence. <laughs> well, not me, but my husband. He's got to do all that. So you know what? There is real problems going on. Um, but uh, we'll talk to you about that in a minute. We're going to go ahead to the Black Panther. My guy, the original Black Panther. <laughs> I have to say his name right because... I don't want anybody looking up him as the Black Panther. His name is the original Black Panther. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play his song. This is his song called, uh, let's play some Buffalo Soldier. (laughs) Let's get that working, okay? I'll be right back. What's her name, Private? MC OVT Great Black Rock Buffalo soldier, you take out from the damn civilian, the beauty of the room, I don't like a pavilion, while we praise the lion high in Zion. I am a Buffalo soldier, you take out from the damn civilian, the beauty of the room, I don't like a pavilion, while we praise the lion high in Zion. We didn't let us set up the satellite, we know when you were talking up and out to me, this revelation, I'm going to be using a task of this, with a fight that you're done, and you're going to be a new, and it's just our time. Justice is the most I said it to Africa 
is our home. The more will I roam, my party with the king will be delayed no more. Hey. I am a buffalo soldier, I'm in the Chicago, some of them civilian. The city of the river, I don't know a pavilion, while we praise the lion, high in Zion. I'm a buffalo soldier, I'm in the Chicago, some of them civilian. The city of the river, I don't know a pavilion, while we praise the lion, high in Zion.
I think it's just all about itself. I don't really think it's one for the people. I, I just don't. And so the numbers were down. The numbers was way down, like 25 million. Oh, wow, million. really? viewers. Yes. You know why? Because I personally think there's a new world order coming up. You know, people are tired of, you know, um, giving it to someone else. I think they want it for themselves and their family. You know, they want something that's a little bit better out there that's going to look out for them. You know, I mean, I personally um, like the whole Me Too movement and and things of that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I would I was really, really bothered by that movement because you had uh, Rosemary Cowham, one that was walking around practically naked in front of public, you know, mm-hmm. and how they claimed rape when they they could have saved so many women from having to go through this had they Absolutely. not gone about themselves first. You know, right. I it was just all selfish selfishly. motivation. Yes. It's all selfish. It's all for the money. It's all it's all for the attention. And once you see one person do it and look like she's gonna get money, oh, let me do it too. Oh, I think yes. one day back in the day this might have happened. You know, so you know who who really knows what was the truth or, or what wasn't. But you know that that movement was definitely crazy. Yeah, I think it, I think so, and I think that what hurt me the most about the whole movement is those gymnasts. Um, with the doctor that raped all those gymnasts and they had been telling people, they telling their, you know, parents and other coworkers about what was going on with them and no one believed them. That's mm, the only thing wow. that, that, that I ever saw a good coming out, really coming out the Me Too movement, you know, for normal people. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> yeah, right, I mean... That's... You know, it took that for someone to pay attention to gymnasts, young gymnasts, 14-year-old girls that are getting raped and fondled by the mm. server. So, mm. you know, That's, that, wow. yeah, so that that was the only good thing. As far as Hollywood themselves, they let them do that. They knew what they were getting into. They knew, they knew what they were getting into. They knew what they wanted out of it. They got what they wanted out of it. So yeah, I exactly. Just, I guess, uh, I'm not all I oblivious just, to what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so well, let's go ahead and you know get into some business talk. Um, this show is pretty much based on entrepreneurs and um, people looking to establish their own business. Uh, some of them are working and having their own business. Some of them are not. I'm a big fan of Shark Shark Tank. <laughs> I like oh, yeah, to watch that. Too. <laughs> yeah, you know, because the struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for real. <laughs> some of them get out there and they, um, you know, they ask for too much money to begin with. You know, they're too bloated. The pockets are too bloated. And some of them come out there and, you know, it's really incredible to see them touched to see a dream. You know, it's like having a dream that you want to come true and it just comes true for them. So what Absolutely. type of advice can you come off off the top of your head for for entrepreneurs let's start there that's just trying to get out there and do their thing should they yeah Quit yeah absolutely so, absolutely what i said that's that's a great question um lena because as as entrepreneurs and business owners um we all start at different levels we so we all at different levels right so you probably have different people here that's that's that's, that's listening in that's probably thinking about becoming an entrepreneur but they don't really know where to start or, you know, you might have some people who, who are just diving in, but they're not really, they, they, they're not really, um, you know, as consistent with it. They may be more of a hobby. They may be making a little bit of money or not. And then you have others who may be listening who are at a place where, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pretty stable, but I might be a little bit stagnant in my business. And I want to learn how to scale and generate more income. Uh, but no matter where you're at, you're always going to face, you're always going to face issues. There, there's no, you know, there's no holy land in, in, in any of the levels. Um, I know for me, um, if you're not too 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 familiar with my story, um, as Lena said, I'm from I'm from New York, I'm from the Bronx, New York. So I I could have easily just stayed in the part where I was at because I was surrounded by an environment of people that didn't necessarily promote, um, you know, entrepreneurs, didn't necessarily promote college and 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 all the good things, right? I was surrounded by drug dealers, drug addicts. I was hot in the cars as a kid, a shootout. So it was real. When you say the struggle is real, Lena, the struggle was, <laughs> yeah. the struggle, it the struggle started. It was real. It was real for me at a very young age. 
And, um, you know, but I was blessed that I had, um, you know, a cousin who, who wanted to do better things, and he decided to go out. He started to go to, um, you know, Virginia to go to school. And I looked at him, I looked at, I looked up to him like a, um, you know, 